It's another warm, rainy day in Daytona Beach. And as LGBT madness continues to sweep across America, we are seeing some disturbing scenarios playing out in our churches. Parents who claim to be Christian are brazenly declaring that they fully support their LGBT child and the lifestyle they have chosen. Now, I'm not unsympathetic to those families. As an American law enforcement officer, I refereed domestic situations for 20 years, and I know how difficult family situations can be. But when homosexuality comes into a family, Christian parents need to see it for what it is, a direct challenge to the authority of God and his moral law and the family's faith. Moms in particular tend to fall victim to LGBT bullying. One of a mother's greatest fears is losing her child, and when the LGBT kid lays down the ultimatum, accept my new lifestyle or never see me again, moms tend to capitulate. One of the greatest desires of a mom's heart is to see her children happy, and some of them believe that to be a good mom, she must support anything that brings happiness to her child. That is a lie straight from the hounds of hell. If you're a Christian mother, your duty is to stand firm in the faith no matter what. I've had moms rear up in my face and declare, my children will always come first. Fine, if you're not a Christian, that's about the best you can do. But you cannot say that if you're a born again Christian. The first commandment says, you shall have no other gods before me. <coughs> if you elevate your children above God, then you have violated commandment number one. If your LGBT kid challenges your Christian faith, and you fold like a cheap suit? What does that say about your faith? What does it say about the God that you serve? No, when your child demands that you join them in sinning against God, your Christian duty is to stand firm in the faith, no matter what. In the Old Testament, there was a parent who watched his prodigal son walk away, and eventually God brought that boy back home, a little bit older and a whole lot wiser. Whenever the poison of LGBT comes into a family, Christian parents need to go into spiritual battle mode. In Matthew chapter 17, the disciples of Jesus encountered a demon that they could not defeat. Jesus himself stepped in and handled it. And when the disciples asked him why they couldn't do it, Christ said, this kind only comes out by prayer and fasting. That is how Christians go into battle mode. You may have to watch your LGBT child walk away from you, but know this, God is on your side. And if you are the parent of an LGBT child, as soon as this video ends, go to your knees in prayer and get the battle started. I also want you to watch the Christian movie, The War Room. James 4.8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. That is what your family needs. But if you capitulate and choose to support your LGBT child in that sinful lifestyle, then you are turning your back on God. And I think you know what that will ultimately mean for your family. Stand firm in the faith and trust God to deal with your prodigal. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching. And America, bless God again.